Hi beauties, I'm back. I'm so sorry I disappeared for a while. Oh God, there's lipstick all over my teeth, yikes. Yeah, it's a it's a short, long story. I'll get into that later. Let's talk first about what today's video entails. Uh, I'm just gonna do a quick little get ready with me, chat, first impressions, whatever you wanna call whatever it is we, we normally do. But I figured I would use the Beauty Creations Cali Glow uh, Highlight Palette and the Natasha Denona Peak Five Eyeshadow Palette that we got in BoxyCharm for November. I'm just gonna jump into it. I, I think I can use all five of these colors. They're very um, cohesive. It's a very cohesive palette. So uh, just as a rundown, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do, I'm guessing crease shade. I mean, not crease shade, good God. Uh, lid shade, crease shade, darkening shade, uh, blending shade, and, and highlight color glitter, highlight, pigment, whatever we wanna call it. Okay, uh, so yeah, that's that's the plan for that bad boy. For the highlighter, which is what we'll start with, I'm gonna jump in and I'm actually going to mix the these two. I'm gonna leave the center one alone for right now, but I think these two will look pretty together, so. I missed a ton while I was gone. I missed Thanksgiving, I missed Drea's birthday. I said we were gonna do stuff for both of those, I didn't. So happy belated birthday, Drea. I love you very much and I love your support and I cannot express how much you mean to this channel and to me personally. So everybody in the comments wish Drea a very happy belated birthday. Her birthday was November 29th. I'm so sorry, I intended to do a video and then um, we'll jump into it. So what happened? Why did I disappear? Uh, well, on top of house stress and everything, which has been very hard to navigate and I'm going to go ahead and warn you guys I may wind up dropping off a little bit during the move as well um, just because I know at first uh, I'm not really sure if we're gonna leave the studio set up in my parents house until we can like get it fully functioning and ready to go for our house or wh what's gonna happen I think moving is gonna be like a two-month process for us um, the nice thing is we're not trying to like get out of anywhere really quickly, um, which is of course what happened when we evacuated in uh, <laughs> after Hurricane Florence when we left Wilmington and came back to, to Charlotte. It, we're not doing that because we literally moved out of an entire apartment with three people living in it in our family uh, in like a day, in 24 hours. So that was a nightmare. But, um, and we were moving three hours away. So it's not gonna be that. There's no pressure to like leave an apartment, get out of anywhere. It's gonna be probably a slow, gradual process. And we're gonna move a lot of our little stuff and set up a lot of the stuff do a lot of the home projects we have to do. We have to build a fence and things like that. Those are probably gonna get done first and then we'll make the full transition, rent the U-Haul and get all of our big furniture pieces and stuff. So it's gonna be a long process. So I don't know how that's gonna go. I'm gonna try and have some videos pre-done uh, to be able to drop around that time. Cause of course that's, we're moving in. We close the 29th of December. So we should be moving in right around New Year's. So I'm gonna try and have like a couple of videos at least for that, but we'll see. We'll see. I just wanna warn you guys, like I'm not, I'm not trying to neglect you, I'm sorry. It's just a lot right now. It's just a damn ton. But why did I disappear this time? So here's what happened. Also, highlight palette, gorgeous, really nice finish. The two colors worked very beautifully together. It's just such a nice, I feel like this is just a year-round palette. I mean, it, <laughs> I'm not really one for like whatever color I feel like wearing, I'm gonna wear. I don't really care about like what season the color is in. What I, it just doesn't matter. I'm gonna make that with clothes too. If I wanna wear a sweater in the middle of summer, I'm going to do it. If I wanna wear shorts in the middle of winter, I'm not going to cause I'm gonna be cold, um, which is normally why I'm wearing a sweater in the middle of summer, but whatever. But now I, I just, whatever. It's, is that how, is that a fashion faux pas? Whatever, if it is, so sue me. But I think that this really does give you a universal, like you got all these different colors that are kind of warm toned, but it really can be a fall vibe. It can be a summer vibe. I, I like it. I like it a lot. Cute, cute palette, really nice. Wasn't expecting it. Very happy that I got it. Moving into the eyeshadows now. I will say I didn't grab any clean brushes. So we're gonna do our damnedest with what I've got in front of me which I don't, I don't know, cause it's been like two, it's been like two weeks since I've done makeup. Let's jump into that story. So I got a, I'm gonna call it an eye infection, but it really wasn't that. It was allergies. A little, a little over a week before um, Thanksgiving, the weekend before, the weekend before Thanksgiving. So I guess like a week and a half before Thanksgiving. We went over to Nikki's house, his parents' house, and we stayed there for the weekend. And we went through his room. We had stuff in their bonus room from the apartment. We went through that, we went through his entire closet, everything, went through his clothes, uh, tried to decide what we could keep, what he still fit in, what he didn't fit in that I wanted, what we were giving away, all of that, went through it all, and uh, we packed up his room, basically got it ready to go, so that way when it comes time to actually start transitioning into the house, it's gonna be all more done than if we hadn't gotten to do that. So we spent uh, like, a two and a half days doing that and got most of it done. There's a little bit left that we still have to do 
There's a ton we have to do here still, but it's one of those things where until we can start moving things out of the way, it's gonna be almost impossible to um, to get that trim. I don't know why I chose this lip shade. I was excited about, oh my God, it's all over my teeth again. I, I, I may have to wipe this off. It may have to be more muted. It's very, I'm just looking at it, it's very red and my orange, my eyes are very orange. It may, it may go away. It's gonna go away. I'm gonna wipe it off. Anyway, back to the story. So we go over to Nikki's house and we pack up his room. And of course, if you guys know uh, a room, unless you're like actively dusting it every damn week, is gonna just absorb dust and dirt and stuff. And so when you start doing things like moving, it just kind of stirs it up. I knew from like when I had cleaned out, cause I've cleaned up my room a couple times in my parents' house since coming back uh, from Wilmington, just because I don't like clutter and I like reorganizing and I always get ideas and I'm like, I'm gonna do this and then I rearrange and then it is great for like six months and I decide to rearrange again. So uh, a couple times I've deep cleaned my room. Every time I've always like, my allergies just always act really, really horribly. And already the fall is a bad allergy time for me. Um, because I'm really allergic to ragweed and apparently it's like in, it's in high volume around this time of the year. So it already was feeling not great. And then we went in with all the dust and everything kicked up and it got really bad really quickly. And I mean, like almost immediately, I was sneezing all the time. I was starting to feel terrible. Of course, when you sneeze right now, everybody thinks you have COVID. So I was a little bit freaked out about that, but I was like, I don't have any other symptoms. I'm just really like, I'm like very mucusy, it's gross. Uh, and so then out of nowhere, my eyes start getting really bad, like itching constantly, pains in them. And then this one swelled horribly. You can still see the remnants of it down here around my lower eye. It, I literally woke up one morning and it was like inflamed and red and puffy. It was like the double the size of this eye. It was, it was awful. It was really, really upsetting. In fact, I woke my mom up and I was like, do you think this is pink eye? Like, what is this? I Everything I was looking up about it, cause you know, Dr. Taylor got, got on her computer and went in and figured out, okay, I either have eye cancer or allergies or pink eye. And then I found like some obscure like diseases that it could be. And I was like, well, I have some symptoms and it basically says if this goes untreated, it's gonna become a brain eating bacteria and I'm gonna die. So um, it's one of those, what are, those are my options. <laughs> and so finally, I also want to say, I don't take medicine. I don't like taking medicines unless I absolutely have to. I try not to even like take Advil's. Um, and it's not because I'm like against it or whatever. Like I'm, I'm not like an anti-vax or anything like that. I just try as hard as I can because I know all medicines have side effects. And so I try really hard to keep from having to rely on medications um, because of it. So I hadn't taken any sort of medication for it. Finally, we went and got like allergy eye drops. I started doing those in my eye and I've done those for like probably three or four days now and they've helped a ton. And then I also finally had to just like buckle down and say, I'm gonna take at least one round of Mucinex. And I did that yesterday and I took some Advil because I had a really bad sinus headache. And since then I'm doing better. That's this, this morning I woke up and it was the first morning I felt like, okay, I can put on makeup and not worry about like going blind. Cause I was really, I was worried that if I put anything on my eye or near my eye, I was just gonna end up like effectively being blinded for the rest of my life. And I was like, well, that would be unfortunate. So that's why I kind of disappeared. Uh, it wasn't fun. It's not been enjoyable. Um, I foresee it just getting worse because like I said, fall allergies are really bad for me. And then with all of the moving that we've got coming up, I just know like how much the dirt and dust affected me just from that one like weekend of doing it. It's not gonna get any better from here on out. So um, yeah, so we'll see. Hopefully uh, these eye drops can help enough. We got, I wound up getting like Visine allergy and then another one that I'd never heard of, but they both had pretty decent reviews. And so I sent Nikki up on Sunday morning and I was like, can you go fetch these so that maybe I can be in a living human again? And he was like, maybe. So yeah, so that's where I've been. I'm so sorry that I missed so much. And I definitely have missed you guys. There's like a ton of things that I have to review. I still even haven't, I haven't even done the Baby Yoda palette yet. I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Um, I wanna talk about the Mandalorian when I, I do that. So I wanted to get this one done first where I kind of explain like what happened and where I was and why I missed the holidays and everything. Done with that story. So let's take a time out and it seems like an organic place to go ahead and talk about the palette. I really like it so far. Uh, very easy to work with, very blendable. Um, I did stop the camera and I forgot to go get a tissue to wipe off this lipstick. So that was unfortunate, but no, I'm really liking everything that's happening right now. Um, I'm gonna use a little bit of the blending shade. To, oh, wow, damn. That really went in there and like, that's potent. That like, that light shade is potent. Yeah, it's really pretty. Like I said, I've never used Natasha Denona's stuff before, but I, 
everything I've seen has been great. And so I've wanted to, it's just that, you know, higher price point I've always, and I don't, and I don't ever shop at, at Sephora. That's the other issue. I've got like a bunch of Sephora gift cards that I just always not, I don't use them and I'm, I, I need to, but I just, I, whatever. Okay, so the camera died and I wasn't gonna do a cut crease, but because it died, I was like, well, Okay, I'll do one. So I went ahead and did that off camera. I forgot what I was talking about before. Oh yes, yes, yes. The fact that I disappeared in the things that we missed. So that's why, that's what happened. And then the other thing that I really wanted to talk about that we missed was Thanksgiving. So we missed Thanksgiving. And I wanted to film a video where I talked about what I was thankful for. And um, I didn't get to do that because of that. So at the tail end of this one, as we're finishing up, I'm just gonna give like a quick little thing that I'm thankful for. Um, the biggest thing that I am thankful for is um, is Nikki. He annoyed the hell out of me while the camera was off. So I'm regretting that decision right now. Oh, that was dirty. This would be a gorgeous color, but it was dirty and now I muddied it, so. That's what I get for being lazy and not washing my freaking brushes, whatever. It's okay, it's it's actually building very nicely, so we kind of just covered it up. Gorgeous shade, this is gorgeous. Anyway, uh, so yeah, so so Nikki, obviously, you know, we put in equal time in this, on this channel. He probably puts in a little bit more time than I do because it's been it's so much time to like edit and everything. So this is really, you know, our, our little baby together. He's, you know, behind the scenes and that's what he wants to do, but I don't think he gets enough credit and enough thanks for that. So I'm very thankful for him and the channel as a whole, but also for him, you know, being my my best friend and my partner and and annoying the shit out of me all the time and making me regret all of my life choices. He's smiling at me and I'm still mad at him, so I really want to stab him in the face right now, um, which is not good because I've got scissors near me, um, but I don't want to go to jail. So that's what every time he's like, you want to kill me? And I'm like, I do want to kill you, but I'm not going to jail for you, so you're safe. Anyway, so I'm very thankful for him in all seriousness. I'm very thankful for him. He is my best friend and I love him. And and we're doing a lot of exciting things this year, as bad as 2020 has been. Um, you know, he's made a lot of changes to, to be able to get us the house. And we're exci excited about, you know, moving into the house and getting married in October of next year and, and all the big things that are coming for us. So I'm very thankful for him and for all of that and to have somebody that I really do love uh, doing it with me. So that's exciting. I'm so thankful for this channel. I cannot express it enough. I'm thankful for all of you guys. I'm thankful for your support. I'm thankful for um, the fact that uh, we have this venue to be able to, to use our creative sides um, Cause that's both, I mean, both of us went to school for different arts fields, creative fields. And they're not exactly this, but you know, that we, you know, I was a theater major, Nikki was a theater and film and, and you know, even our history degrees have wound up playing a part in this channel. And for us to be able to use those, um, even though, you know, we're having to do other things to be able to actually sustain our lifestyle, it's made it, I think, a lot easier for us to, um, to be motivated for everything just in, you know, and, and I, I lose my motivation sometimes. I'm not gonna lie, I mean, I'm human and I definitely deal with the waves and this this year's been particularly hard, but to have a venue um, and so many wonderful people supporting us um, that allows us to use that, that's really special. It, it means so much to both of us. And that's why when I do things like, I get sick and I can't film, or I know that the move is coming up and it's gonna affect filming. It makes me upset because I wanna be here for you guys because you support us so much. And I don't ever wanna disappear or make it feel like I don't care like about this channel because I care so I care so much about it and I care so much about you guys. So I'm very thankful for that. I'm really, really thankful for my family um, and for Nikki's family. They have been incredibly supportive um, since we've, I mean, our whole lives they've been incredibly supportive, but since we've moved back, from Wilmington, they've just been nothing but a constant support for us, letting us, you know, live and save money to be able to buy the house. Now that we're buying the house, they've been supportive. You know, my parents for letting Nikki move in here while COVID was going on, and and we didn't want, you know, to be traveling back and forth. They let him move in, and and it's just been, you know, a, a constant source of of feeling supported and, and all of that. And that's really, really special as well. And I'm also thankful, <laughs> this gonna sound stupid, but I'm thankful for 2020. Uh, it's brought a lot of bad things and I'm never going to say that it hasn't, but it's also brought a lot of good things. It's made us stronger, I think, as a society. And I think it's, you know, even in the darkest moments, there are moments of, of you know, beauty and, and yeah, as, as rough as 2020 has been, as, as torturous as this year has seemed at points and um, as many, um, painful moments and, and bad things and people we've lost and all of that. Um, I am, I'm thankful for, um, I guess for the ability to grow. Now that being said, I also <laughs> am still praying very hard that the world, um, 
figure some things out and like I guess levels out at some point because I think we're still on a very rocky terrain and I think there's a lot of people who um, are suffering. Um, I think COVID is very real and it needs to be taken more seriously and um, I just pray for you know everybody who's who's suffered because of that because we've been incredibly fortunate with it but I, I've known people I know people who have gotten it and who have been sick. I've known people who have lost family members and stuff like that, and I, I can't imagine. It's, it is honestly one of my biggest fears right now. Is um, It's why we're taking it so seriously. It's why we don't go anywhere or do anything, but because it's it's very real to me, and it's very, I think it should be real to everybody, so. So yeah, so that's kind of like a weird, I don't know. That was like a weird, be thankful thing. It's like a thankful and like also like, I don't know just reflecting on how I've been feeling lately and things that I'm, you know. Like I said, I was away for two weeks and now I've completely forgotten how to film, so here we are. Gorgeous palette, it absolutely is. I totally understand, the quality's there. I mean, with brands, there's always, there's certain brands that I try and I'm like, I've never tried their products before, but they're like really well reviewed and very high priced. And I'm like, I just assume that I'm gonna like them. But then you worry, you're kind of like, well, maybe it's just people are just like, they just decide like we like this brand and then it's, it doesn't really matter the quality. I, I don't know if that happens or not, but I, I feel like sometimes it does. There's certain brands that I've tried where I've been like not as impressed, but like whatever. Anyway, that being said, really like it. Very gorgeous palette. I really like how the look turned out. Very fall. Yeah, I'm a huge fan. So yeah, so we got Natasha Denona and we got Beauty Creations. Yay. Okay guys, so that's all today. Uh, I missed you a lot. I miss doing this. Uh, I'm glad that hopefully my eyes stay calm and we can keep get back on track filming and you know keep putting out videos and all that good stuff but yeah if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you like us subscribe uh, and otherwise i hope you guys are all safe and healthy you have a wonderful day and you stay girly with the dark twist